Oh, because uh, we probably aren't going to go to, like, Dreamland for the first game, in my opinion. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. I don't think we would see that. And joining me on the microphone, we actually have Lemons, the mans. Some other guy. Some other guy. Wow. Who's this guy? Game two? Wow. Man, yeah. I thought Caleb uh, would have beaten this guy. Me too. Me too, my friend. Uh, but here we are. It's We're in the alternate timeline. The one where Caleb isn't good enough to, to win games? That'll be right. There we go. He's struggling, but he's, he's not hopeless. There we go. Back to back to order. I did play this box player a bit, and uh, he, was, he was great, but he still he still feels pretty fresh, and uh, needs a bit more experience before I think he can beat Caleb. I think Caleb should clean up. So I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of surprised he even took one game. But stranger things have happened. There we are. That's the Caleb we know and love. But, you know, if Trace is able to take one game, he's able to take two. There we go. Letting it rip. Yeah, keeping it simple. That's nice. Not getting fooled by Caleb's wily tricks. So if he can choose <laughs> he kind of does. Uh, there we are. Get it. Oh my god, Caleb. That one was easy. He did a hard one. Relatively. What do you... It, yeah, I think so. Great. Okay. He's got one stuck. Good to go. I like this Trace guy keeping his keeping his punches simple, keeping his play simpler. Then. Whether it's by choice or not, I don't know. Got a nice roll there. Well, he just keeps getting hit by these stray moves. Oh, almost. There we go. Caleb, it's not gonna let that one slip. And he brings it back. Both players showing they can take a game. It's the deciding game, although Trace does have a stage. He does have a. He gets to pick the stage. He's going to stadium, that's nice. It's good for both characters. Oh my god, immediately get crap. Walks off the platform, immediate grab. What the hell? See if he can fight his way out of this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, big chance. Oh, he just stood there and got hit. Oh, Caleb. Plus, oh, nice. Get chasing. Old center stage, nice. Can't crouch cancel that one, my friend. You can't crouch cancel that. That's a bit much. This the air, uh, this the up smash. He was almost on the mark. Yeah. This Trace guy likes to take chances on these smash jacks. Let's see if we can go and go for another one. I feel like I was a Caleb, I don't know if that down there even I guess I would have covered two out of three options. Yeah, Caleb's always looking to be ready for the obvious ones, so really just try and go to go to ledge against them is probably the best thing to do. It's been a long time, but uh, we'll spot that. Right. Yeah. Ooh, he gets stuck in his shield and he can't punish the roll. Keep going this way. It's not going to be a very convincing win, but oh, oh, wait a minute! Oh no! 
Caleb showing off his patented technique. Edge guard to almost die, or if not outright die. Ha! Oh! Slide, slide. Reactions. Oh! Oh, he's so. He wanted to look cool so badly. He almost had it. But you know, the slow and steady wins the race, and. That, that could happen right now. Oh, wait a minute. Not the biggest punish, but it's something. Here we go. Oh! Show off the tech. This guy is starting to cook. He's starting to cook. Infinite? No! Kill breaks out. He's back to stage, though. Oh, he's, he's got him. He's got him on the ropes. Oh, what a trade for Caleb. Oh, my God. Let's it rip, but not enough. There it is, the follow-up. Let's go. Trace may be feeling the pressure, but he might be able to get clean up quick and bring it back to even. Is he going to approach? Are either of them going to approach? I know Caleb is not the type to approach. He's just going to keep doing that. Looks like Trace is respecting it too. But he's got, he's got center. Oh! Goes for everything. Caleb gets past him. He's starting at the, starting at the ground wobble. Oh, he breaks free with the skill. Outplayed. Both players so nervous. Maybe in a situation where both players are as nervous as they are, Trace might actually have the edge with his simple style. He doesn't try and go for a lot of crazy movements. There we are. That Caleb got a good percentage lead, but oh yeah, it scared you for a second there, but he knows Fox is recovering. Basin with that. Caleb's surprised he wasn't ready for that. Oh, he gets another chance to clean up though. There we are. There we are. Close match. Close match between these two young players. It looks like Caleb will be moving on. What do we got next? Oh, we've got uh, Catherine versus Luigi Man Player Man, aka a person with a real name that is escaping me for some reason. McLeod, that's his name. Uh, all right, yeah, McLeod versus Catherine. Nice floaty matchup. Uh, oh, no, that's not it. There are our players. Uh, sitting down. So now I am managing Roy. There we are. Luigi Beach. And I would say. Yeah, I would say that McLeod's favored, but you never know with Catherine. She makes upsets, she makes it happen sometimes. favor a stage where she can corner Luigi easily. Is there anything off the battlefield? Immediately, it's not have a real peach player. Yeah, they're just doing, doing hand warmers apparently. Testing our luck. <laughs> oh, 
players need to, there we are, I was gonna say. Surely with a matchup like this, you get the, you get the hand warming in the opening. Lemons, game. we have to play at some point. Oh, we have a match. But um, we can just chill here for a bit, because I think I might need to. Okay, all right, no worries. Oh, well, actually, you hold it down for a bit, Lemons, because I might actually just go to the toilet. Sit here. Watch the magic. Even match so far, but oh. Good sequence of two hits by McCloud. Right. What's. What's this match like? Whoa, Jesus. I apologize for that. Oh, he leaves me. The resident Peach Expert leaves me. He feels bad. Very, very grindy match. So you're gonna get, you're gonna get a lot of chances for the better player to win. Oh, there we are. All right. How do you feel about this match? Damn. I mean. Catherine, I mean, Catherine has a decent idea on how to play neutral in the sense like she just puts out back airs against Luigi and it works. She never goes out to edge guard Luigi. I was last time. I was gonna say uh, more generally about the, the characters. Oh, about the, I mean, what, what do I feel about? Uh, Peach definitely wins, but you have to know why Luigi, like why Peach beats Luigi. Um, I mean, Luigi really can't get in if Peach like plays defensive and. Pulls him out. Luigi very much struggles to get in. I mean, it's not impossible, obviously, but it's um, Luigi to like to commit to an approach. Luigi has to commit to a wave dash, which again he has to like space and time it quite well. Or uh, Peach back is just going to you know ruin his day. Oh, oh that turn that turn up was dead. Uh, she could have scrapped ledge. Yeah, but you know. There was also a musket way back that didn't grab ledge a lot, but, and, you know, McLeod's like, you know what, you should deserve that stock. I'm just gonna... Yeah. He'll give you a little bit of a tax with the down air, though, add, add a bit of a send, and then he'll say, alright. Okay, yeah. Catches the dash back. Peach goes to dash back. Um, you know, Luigi runs in, catches her out. Yeah. I wasn't sure, but I, I just just from what I knew, I thought maybe McLeod would be the favorite. But I don't think so. The case. I think McLeod will eventually. I well, it's very, I think it's very close between them. I think McLeod will eventually surpass Caff, just because McLeod has way better work ethic. Yes. Caff is kind of just plays a monstrous fun. monster. Damn. Um, I think this sector definitely, even them could win, and th this match is by no means is over, yeah. especially because. That's why I said earlier, it's this grandy matchup, you get loads of opportunities to show, to outplay your opponent. Yeah. Get lots of little, lots, lots of interactions. Mm. Not just a few. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, I, well, when Luigi's on the ledge, Luigi has a pretty good ledge dash, but if you put, like, when, to ledge dash, he has to obviously commit a decent amount of distance. So you can go a decent bit far out and put out a back air, and a lot of times it either hits Luigi or forces him to shield. That's not good. Mm. Yeah, push back off the lightning. But still, this is this has gone way back close and even. Um, like Gavin doesn't get down. Oh, somehow gets down and does the fair. But I don't think we're going to see an end guard here. I think we're just going to see it. Oh, well, you know, turn it. Does he have a jump? No, I don't know. Oh, he's done. Oh, the winky face. Nice. No misfires. Last time these two played, um, there was a. Oh, that looks. I oh, don't no, mind. I thought that was a. I don't know why, I thought that was a stitch. I was like, oh, this is well, scary. When they sat down to warm up, the very first thing she pulled was a bomb. Oh, that's Catherine. That's, you know. I, actually, today, I played I played a few games of Peach, and I, the very first thing I pulled was a bomb. Nice. And then I threw it away. The only way to be a Peach, mate. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Karen is oh. hard. Yeah, okay, well. Yeah, by now you have to expect against Luigi. When he puts out one aerial, like an earlier aerial, there's going to be a second one coming. And again, the up smash, these up smashes are doing a lot of work, actually, closing out these stocks. At, I mean, if you can get peach, a peach stock out at, you know, 112, you're feeling pretty good. And this is also a classic bad habit of Catherine. She'll, um, when she gets hit, she'll try and nair out. And a Luigi combos and... Oh, that's Excellent not going to outplay by Catherine. 
Two legs, two, two, two ledge dash and uh, ledge dash fails is not what you want. Especially in this type of matchup where, you know, yeah. you fall behind a bit and it's just, floaty, floaty dittos are just, they suck when you're behind. Yeah. You're two stocks down in Fox Falco, you know, in the back of your head you're thinking, okay, I can still, I can get this closest back pretty quickly. If I win neutral, you know, once, a few times. And like, floaty One dittos, time. yeah, you know, the, the cliche, the, in floaty dittos, it's like, oh man, I'm gonna have to really, uh, really outplay him to get to the point. I don't know, I feel that way all the time when I'm behind. That's because so you play, that's you play an Oz character, Mom. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, that's just how oh, I feel about the game. Oh, the, 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 the edge cancel. Alright, retreats the side flat. I think... Well, I don't know how I feel. I think about flats. I feel like flats in general are worse for the Luigi than the Peach. Well, Cloud's trying something different. But yeah, if, I mean, if, on the one hand, FD wasn't working early on. He brought it back at the time. Oh, that was, like, uh, that was a really bad um, down smash, but it, like, the first one was, like, super bad, but it still worked somehow. Like, the classic, like, scrub down smash that catches out the landing because the other person messed up or didn't think he was going to be there. Yeah. See, that's Peach. I don't think, I don't think Peach ever wants to be above Luigi, if possible. Alright, thing is, that, all it's doing is just giving him another misfire opportunity. Like, it's sacking on maybe, what, 11%, and then, you know, he'll take that to the bank every time. Whereas, uh, like, running out, especially once we can have a, um, dab on him. Huh? Dabbed on him. Dabbed on him, yeah. yeah. Oh, that could be fun. Okay, not quite. Uh, you know. Luigi does have an immense mobility advantage. Does or doesn't? It does, over Peach. Uh, I don't think... speed. Like. But like, how is Luigi getting in? Unless Peach, you know, the read. With a read? Read. Raw pressure. Oh, that was... Seas. Foot seas. Yeah. All of the above. See, we can look above. That's why we have oh two more. I know, the future. Oh. Even if the main screen is obscure. See that read? See that read? Yeah. yeah. That's the thing, I mean, Catherine is also going to give a lot more opportunities because... Uh, what, are you saying she's not very good? She's impatient. Very impatient, I think. I think... He's to find inner peace. I'd be very surprised if there wasn't a big punish um, from this set, at least once, against Kath because she did a bad dash check on shield. Well, she did what? It, a bad dash check on shield? Right. Yeah. I mean, she did it earlier and he just, like, didn't punish. I'm pretty sure, like, you can just. Oh, uh, actually, Luigi's weird because Luigi slides, but I'm. Mean, it's definitely a punish. He could have grabbed, but he tried to forward her out of shield and it's she was ever shield. I'm pretty sure he can up be out of shield. Oh, that would be rude. Oh. Oh, oh nice. Oh, that's. He isn't. Oh, no, he does. Outplayed. Let's get back. He's getting all down Dude, now. And he's, he was starting to win. Oh, there you go. And the thing is. What I've noticed about Unbard is that a lot of his ledge dashes, especially in that spot, are like, there's a lot of hesitation before he commits to it, so there's that like slight moment of weight while he's on the ledge, and because of that, these ledge dashes have nowhere near the amount of action from invincibility that no, you no would glitz. expect, which means they're just going to be ruled out by the Peach Bear. Yeah. Also, it's kind of like, you kind of go sick sometimes. Yeah. Your opponent's sort of like, they hesitate for a little bit, it doesn't even cost you anything. Oh, that was a really bad roll, I don't know what that roll, I, that would have had to be a flop. Some sort. You don't just like roll away out away from stage. Like you don't want to roll too much in that spot when you have all the stage control on the board. Yeah. Hey. Well, I can really see what you mean by Captain Miss Edge Cards, where he was like yeah, right there. Yeah, he's he getting back like, times. every every time. Like Luigi's not a ca like. Oh, okay. well, yeah, there we go. That was literally handed over on a silver platter. Yeah. That's you know you can't get much more much more free than that when they just head off the same place right next to you. But. Yeah, against there's a lot of characters where you can hit a turn and you know knock them off and you you're see that get read there? That read the He near. was expecting just to she's just gonna down smash the platform, so she went straight down and hit him mm. while he stood there like an Ooh. idiot. That was actually a really good fadeaway out there. Yeah, but yeah, this is looking like a body that doesn't kill. Also. Okay, that unless he gets a yeah, this is running away. Like. It's he definitely could possible do it. to come back, but... Seven out plays. He rarely has to play Super Plane. 
At this point, I think Captain's happy to play. Just pull him out. She's right always happy to play. Yeah, that's it. Here. That was it. Good stuff. Close game. I think these two are going to have a lot of close sets. All right, I'm convinced. You convinced that just... I'm convinced the better player won. Um, oh, my God. Actually, I'm going to quickly check. Hunt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. yes. Let's see if that'll mean Caleb. And I think you, you guys are the best. Yeah. All right, coming up we have Kai and Lemons. Which is unfortunate because they're both really good commentators. And I'm not the biggest fan of solo commentary, but I'll make do. I'll, I'll try my hardest for the two viewers at home. Um, all right. I think Liam's just regular Marth. Kai is Falco Red. Yeah, it's going to be really helpful having Liam for... I mean, you know, who knows, he might actually make top three, and but if he's not, it's going to be nice having him to commentate. Wait, click, click the webcam. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So these two, I mean, I don't think, I don't think, um, I think Liam's ever beaten Kai, and there's definitely a big skill differential between the two, so, then again, it is Mark, you know, if Kai's not playing on point, he can always get gimped. Um, Liam historically hasn't been that bad at the matchup, back when Catherine played Falco, he pretty much always beat her. Forcing Catherine to go to some weird different characters like Sheik and Falcon until she eventually went back to Peach. Um. No contest. You know, nice sessions to grab. I mean, he waits out the spot dodge, which. I mean, it's the, it's the right thing to do, I suppose, if you're expecting the um, Falco 2 spot dodge, but he doesn't do anything after, and it just kind of... Either try attack too soon and just got nothing, because he was still in lag, or just flop, wasn't ready for it. I'm going to guess it's probably the former, but you never know. Getting close so far, but a pretty bad down air shield there. When the Marth starts staring at a shield that early, like, it, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of more of a desperation thing, but I don't know, maybe he's just testing the waters. Seeing if it'll work. Um, didn't. Hopefully we don't see it much more. I don't know. Well, 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 you know, what can you do? Ideally not down out of shield, but... See, I guess it's also, I, I guess um, Liam probably doesn't have the most confident way to dash out of shields. So, he's far more, and like, isn't particularly confident about knowing when to wave dash out of shield against Falco um, shield pressure. So, yeah, he might just default to either staying in shield or doing like, you know, a shield grab, roll. Oh, that was a really nice slide off there. 
Yeah. I mean, eventually one one of these down there's will out of shield will work, and then that's going to justify it all. That's. Alright. I mean, he, the the jab didn't work. The back here afterwards did, but I think that was a shield poke. Like, I think Kai definitely got to stage. Oh, got to like got side fight and shield it, but just got hit from underneath. All right, let's see how, how far I can take this. See, when you're getting up tilted somewhat close to the uh, ledge as a space, it feels bad because you either hold away and you just get sent straight up, or you hold in, and if it does, say, send you far enough to be above stage or above, uh, sorry, above the edge, like off stage, then you know, up tilt there is pretty guaranteed. So sometimes you just kind of have to take, like, eat two or three of those um, up tilts and just eventually get out. The yeah, Elaine's keeping this close. It's actually it's a pretty solid play from him. He's doing a good job catching these, um, just dash dancing, like, baiting, baiting his movement so he's initially in center stage and then just dash dance grabbing the coming air. I mean, Kai could, he catches on, and I'm sure he, I'm sure he has, um, he could, you know, do a laser land, or drop down, wave land back on, like top light, but, yeah, just, no one is even now, it's just, it's not quite, I mean, it's Liam's punish at the moment, or Lambert's punish at the moment, so, Kai's still gotta get down, he gets down, so, <laughs> Catches just the sour spot hit. Um. Alright, this is this spot is always terrifying for the spacey just because there's so many ways that Mark can just get that low percent here. Like, approaching Mark near the ledge at this spot is quite intimidating. You have to be really confident that whatever option you're going for is definitely guaranteed and definitely safe. You can't go for any of those high aerials unless you're like definitely fading away from the um, shield grab. Now we game one. I'm gonna guess. Guy's, guy's probably gonna ban it. But maybe not. Guy's a little bit more confident about going to that stage against uh, Marth. I mean, it's even, I think it's either FD or Yoshi's. I would be tempted to ban Yoshi's against Liam, actually. I have no idea how good his chain grabs are. Okay, he's going, but interesting. He hovered over FD, so I wonder if um, Kai did ban Yoshi's and Liam was thinking, well, damn, I've been caught out. So Kai there went for, like, CC Shine on the... Um, yeah, I wonder if CC Down Smash would have worked. I assume it probably would have. Maybe it wouldn't have been fast enough. Maybe the Marth could have gotten the shield out. And then you don't want to be get Down Smashing a Marth shield right across the ledge because you don't really want to get shield grabbed. Uh, let's see if he can take this out. No, just commits. Way, way too early. I think he was trying. I think in his mind, he thought Kai was going to do that high side B and he was going out to bear it, but he didn't. And he also reacted to it a bit late. Like, oh, oh, he got anti grab, but he didn't jump out. These CC smashes, uh, I think they're the right idea. It's just for whatever reason they've been you know, done the wrong way or just barely out of range. Hits him with the yeah smash. The... Oh, that's okay. That's a really cute double dare, but then doesn't quite get the down smash. Oh, the dare finally... 
It worked. It finally worked. This justifies everything. Ah, uh, really good. Really good, Edgeguard. All right, that'll be two. Um, I think I need, I need to play Caleb, so hopefully we'll find another game for you guys pretty quickly. And all right. Oh, yeah, that was a yup. <laughs> that was definitely a yup game for sure. Um, up next, though, on stream, I think we might have, like, a Muscat game for you. So let's have a look here. Um, but, yeah, if you don't know, what's up, everyone? How are we going in chat? Who's in here? Who's in here? I want to I wanna see some faces. Well, I want to see some chatters, rather, not faces. This ain't, <laughs> this ain't Instagram live. <laughs> All right, though. Um, I think, yeah, I think we're getting like a musket game. We'll have a, we'll have a, have a look here. There's your face. Oh, what's up, everybody? How we going? Oh, Regan's in here. <laughs> what's up, dude? <laughs> Wait, are you still in the venue, dude? <laughs> Are you still in the venue? <laughs> Here's my face. And um, what my what a what a pretty face you have. All right, so me so Musket Caleb is is on here. You were here, yeah. I I saw you. I saw you. I don't think I did. I say hi. I just can't remember. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, we gotta have a we gotta have a new Kai House uh, fighting game sesh soon. I'm pretty. Yeah, like, I'm pretty close to having, like, everything set up in my room, so, like, watch out. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, yeah, Caleb. Fresh off of a, a, t a tense game versus Trace. We got up against Muscat. Uh, you know, the cold-hearted killer of the SA at the moment. Just uh, botting everyone with his Fox. Nobody here can play against Fox, it seems. We all just... We all just suck. Anyway, if you're new here, please follow the stream. I think we're still in followers only mode for chatting, so if you're following already, then you're already probably chatting, which is A plus. What I love to what I love to see. Um, we got people like swapping out chairs left, right, and center here. Apparently, Ugh, what's going on here? All right, there we go. Musket looking. Look for something. Your real shit? Okay. Can anyone else attest to how great the texture is on the on the um the monster no sugar? I love it. It's just like I don't know. I love anything that's like designed to make it seem like this condensation on the uh, product. Ultimate was pretty good. Sean, I'm 23, uh, took it out in Grand Finals, which was pretty hype. Sean's uh, fucking good now. He's fucking good. Um, it's like ASMR for hands. Am I right? Am I not right? Um, might also adjust that camera on stage real quick. See how we go. Thank you for following, Shanbergy. Uh, Muskie's got it, I think. It's on stage, Mapes. Yeah, I beat Lemons, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway. Um, I might just quickly restart the stream so we can get the bitrate updated. So, one second, everyone. Uh, one second, guys. One second. Alright, so be right back, everyone.